Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a video where I'm going to go ahead and pick one brand, in this case, Spydeco, and talk about the, the, the knives from that brand, which would make a good collection in and of themselves. To give you a sense of the rules here, I've got seven different categories for every brand. A good all-around their everyday carry, a budget blade, something that's fear-friendly for scared people in places. Um, it is classy carry, a uh, hard-to-use fixed blade, and a bonus blade, which is whatever I'd like. And of course, a given knife can fill multiple categories. Money is not a big factor here. Availability is capricious. Please don't complain about a knife being unavailable. Um, prices and availability are current as of July 2019, and you can share your uh, choices below, but remember, these are my preferences, and they can't be wrong. Um, so from Spyderco, let's go ahead and jump into it. For everyday carry, um, my number one choice for a lot of people, frankly, just generally, is this little guy. This is the Spyderco Chaparral at FRN. It's 90 bucks, but it's perfectly slicey. It is a really, really nice ergonomic design. Very thin, very easy to carry. This is is just a really substantially good knife. And I really very much appreciate it. I think for a lot of people, this is going to be a good ideal choice. There were some other good choices out there, things like the Spyderco PM2, the uh, Terra 3 Lightweight is another nice option. But honestly, I think for, for most people, if somebody just says, hey, Nick, I want to buy a Spyderco, this is generally the place I'll send them first. It's just a really nice piece. Um, for a budget blade, um, the Spyderco Tenacious, Ambitious, and Persistence family are relatively budget-friendly and are pretty damn good. Um, certainly, as you go higher up in Spyderco's lineup, you can eclipse them pretty quickly in areas of things like steel, but nevertheless, these are a nice little area to think about if you're looking for something a little bit more budget-friendly and it's not within your means to save up to, like a pair of three lightweight or a chaparral or something along those lines. Um, in terms of a fear-friendly carry, there are very few knives that are better suited to that than the Spyderco Dragonfly. This is a relatively small knife. It's uh, going to be legal in a lot of places at two and a half inches, um, but it is also very effective. This is a knife that can do pretty much all the cutting you need um, without being super intimidating or scary to people. This is a very, very nice little choice for, uh, you know, an office situation or something along those lines. A classy knife, the Spyderco Ikuchi, is currently sort of the classiest thing they're offering, and it's a reasonably classy looking knife. It's fancy looking. It's a little bigger than you might expect for something like that. Um, the Spyderco Gale Bradley Air was another really nice choice, um, as in like the one-eyed jack and things like that, but this is probably going to be my choice in this category. For something that is hard in use, you have the Spyderco Shaman. This little guy is um, my Spyderco Shaman. I've got a set of custom scales from Shepard CC on it, and this is the M4 edition, but nevertheless, you can get these guys for 190 bucks, and it is a folding knife that is absolutely good to go in a lot of different situations. Um, and then, of course, if you really want hard use, get a fixed blade, like the Spyderco Waterway here. This is a great fixed blade in a very, very nice material. Um, absolutely a beautiful thing, uh, and an easy recommend at 130 bucks. Um, so there you go. And then finally, for a bonus blade, the Spidey Chef is a really nice choice. This is a spectacularly good pocket knife. It has one of the very best pocket knife steels that's going on out there at the moment. And uh, it's just, it's beautifully made. It's relatively thin. It's easy to carry with a nice clip. This is just a substantially good knife. Um, the Spidey Chef is absolutely a great choice. And that's why I chose it as my bonus blade here. So there you go. Those are my uh, those are my picks for a one brand collection from Spyderco. Hope this has been interesting to you. Have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.